Hello, our wonderful audience, and welcome to our show, Pink and Bold. Today, we will be talking about a very, very popular topic amongst uh, the working women here in the U.S. I have Bita here, who is one of our makeup artist professionals here in D.C. metropolitan area. And to discuss with us today is the topic of corporate uh, makeup in corporate America. So I am going to welcome Ms. Bita and let her introduce herself and her expertise that she will be sharing with us. Thank you very much, Golden Girl, and thank you, my TV, for inviting me to do this um, and to invite me to uh, talk about corporate glam on this platform. I'm very happy to be here and excited to share with you uh, and the viewers the um, not so secret, but my way of doing corporate glam and why I think it's important for women to look presentable at work. Um, yeah. So, Bita, um, the question um, of the hour here really is before we really jump into details um, about your expertise is really what inspired you and what motivated you to write and research about this topic? I'm just just like me, the viewers are really curious to know. That's a very good question, um, Golden Girl. The, the thing that inspired me was I'll back up a little and tell you a little bit about why I started, why I chose the path, the career path of, of being a makeup artist. I've always loved art and for me it was a way of expressing myself. And when I decided to go into the makeup industry, which was professionally about four years ago, I, I didn't have a specific style of my own. I, I didn't really know the specifics of how to apply makeup professionally. I mean, like every woman, I was, you know, I had the basics in my kit where I would, um, you know, I just had a lipstick or a foundation or blush, you know, just the basics that every woman has in, in when applying makeup. Um, and then I discovered platforms where there was a whole bunch of beauty gurus out there that were teaching people how to do makeup. But I just noticed that they were really specific to their own face shape or their own skin age group or their own, um, you know, just it, it wasn't it wasn't customized. Right. And so I decided, OK, I'm going to do research and try to expand my um, knowledge and practice and expertise on how to really help women to look their best but without having to spend so, so much time in getting ready because again we're doing corporate glam we're not doing evening glam right right and huge so difference. huge difference exactly right. so there are certain steps that i would eliminate from doing an everyday glam to doing an evening evening glam right so i noticed that whenever i was getting ready to go to work I sometimes would get up late and I would be in such a mad rush and I would look in the mirror and I would see like dark circles or I would see, yes. you know, a, a random zit <laughs> on my forehead and yes, I'd be like, absolutely. how much time do I have absolutely. to get ready for yes. getting to work? Like, I don't, I don't have time to go on and, you know, do all right. that, right? So absolutely. I would pick my battles <laughs> and I would try to see what I can do the most with, with the least products, with the least amount of time and products, right? So I... Practiced and practiced and I I came to realize that there's just a few steps that really it just depends on the woman It depends on the age and it depends on You know how much time you have that can make the biggest difference when Great. looking presentable Great. at work Great explanation and it really really helps me understand and again I'm pretty sure a lot of our viewers uh, would agree to a lot of different topics that you touched on um, You know and they certainly are like you know rooting for you like hey finally somebody understands <laughs> our challenges mm -hmm. here So Beta moving forward um, I know that we will be showing some samples um, of some of the makeup that you have done, corporate makeup that you have done for some of the models. And of course, the viewers are really, really excited to kind of visually understand um, what it is that you're talking about and so forth. But before we look at those pictures, help us understand what are these pictures about? What are you incorporating from your experience? And what should we expect to see uh, in these pictures of the corporate um, uh, makeup that you have presented on your models? 
Okay. Well, my style is very much enhancing the natural beauty. I never mask the client with too much makeup because I want them to look like a better version of themselves. I want Amazing. them to be to be recognized Amazing. by their colleagues and by their husbands or by their bosses when they go to work. Amazing. You don't want yes. someone to walk in and then suddenly they think it's a new person at work, right? Absolutely. Or just so that they don't feel so self-conscious as well. You know, and sometimes when you have too much makeup on, you're kind of a little bit on edge and you're not sure about Yes. You know what the reactions of people yes. are is going to be when, yes. when, when you know when they see you. So the style that I have on the pictures that we're about to show you is natural makeup. It's really just like I said, enhancing beauty. So I've taken I've taken into consideration the client's um, age, the client's skin condition, and um, the client's uh, facial features, so that you know, I customize whatever uh, artwork that I'm going to do on their face to who they are. And Bita, again, you bring up some really great points here. And I also want my viewers to understand that the art of putting makeup really is not just walking up to a makeup store and <clears throat> picking up you know what they are recommending you have to actually understand your facial features you have to understand you want to enhance your beauty you don't want to add anything over top of it so i'm very glad that you brought that up um, and i'm very excited that we will be talking about um you know enhancement so each feature whether it's your cheeks whether it's your lips whether it's your you know eyes um you know what color your hair is uh, for that day because again um some of us working ladies like to highlight our hair and look special so sometimes just to change things up a little. So we will be taking a break quickly. And as we get back, we will be sharing some uh, samples of makeup that Beta has done for corporate America or working in corporate America. And um, we will be back shortly. Hi, my name is Kuldeep Gill. I'm broker of Sky Realty. The reason we are so successful, because client trust us. I've been doing this my whole life. My team is my wife, my office manager, and my agents. We look forward to on your business, and we do speak your language. Thank you. Manjit Singh CPA, tax planners, not just tax preparers, providing services, IRS audits and representation, including foreign income and offshore account disclosures and compliance, tax return preparations, including exit tax returns, accounting and payroll services, financial statement audits, Manjit Singh CPA, offices in Ashburn and Falls Church, phone 703-280-5656 or on the web at mscpa.us. So now we are going to actually take a look at these uh, pictures and the corporate makeup that Bita herself um, did on these young ladies. So without further ado, here is the first picture um, of one of the corporate uh, makeups that uh, Bita has done. So I really, viewers, would like to, for you guys to take a look at the before and after picture uh, notice how the after you see the enhancement of her eyes as well as an enhancement of her lips very subtle yet 
um, you know, very professional. So Bita, I am going to um, uh, ask you, what what was your inspiration uh, in doing that makeup for her? And help me understand um, the texture and um, of course the details of, of what you did there. Okay. Well, that was um, that was done a couple of years ago, actually. So I'm <laughs> trying to remember. It was for a, a corporate video shoot, and uh, she worked at a hotel, and so the hotel was was asking us to do um, uh, a, a corporate video, right? So what I did for her, um, I looked at her skin. She had beautiful skin, by the way. She was in her 60s. Wow. Yes. She had youthful skin. I couldn't believe like the condition of it. So it was easy for me to work with. Work with. So canvas is always important. Absolutely. Skin canvas for me is number one. That's why I always emphasize on skincare before anything. So whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, as this woman was, she took what really good care of her skin. So I looked at... Um, so for corporate glam, usually I start with the face because I'm not doing anything crazy with the eyes. If, uh, if I'm doing evening glam, I would start with the eyes because if I'm using dark shadows, right. then I, I would have to erase what I have on the face, right? right. If they have full eyes. So I start with the face. I, I make sure that um, I, I do color correction first, um, but before that I prime. So I, I see her skin condition. I see you know, where she has oily, uh, where she has pores, where she has wrinkles. And there are products out there in the market that target these areas, concerned areas right. for, you know, when applying makeup. So I assessed her skin and then I gave her a customized primer so that I was able to then to work with that as I created her base. And then I did a color match. Now you notice that uh, she has a natural light that's coming in from the window and I will use that as a, an indication of whether a foundation matches the skin Good. tone or not. And I always look at the neck so that there is no a mismatch between the face and the body. Uh, especially if they're wearing a, an open blouse or something that's expo exposing the chest a little bit, you want to be able to be cohesive. So. I matched her skin tone and I used a foundation that wasn't very heavy uh, because obviously we don't want that look. We want to be able to have, and she had beautiful skin so there was really no need to cover that, right? Uh, from there I went into color correction before I went into, into matching her skin tone. So the color correction I noticed she had dark circles around her eyes so that I used uh, the color orange to cancel out the, the blue from the dark circles uh, so that any foundation or concealer that would go on top of that wouldn't peek through throughout the day. So that was the second step. So I made sure that any discoloration on her skin was first corrected before going in with the foundation. Then I was able to match her foundation with her skin tone and her neck. And then I did a slight contouring um, and I did con notice that that was a very good trick I did notice that. yeah so contouring basically enhances the features right. so she had beautiful cheekbones and so I was able to give her a little more emphasis on that so I darkened around and the contour color is more of a cooler tone than a warm tone because True. warm is for bronzing and contouring is more cool so awesome. think of that as that is the difference right. so cool think of like a shadow a shadow is cool but bronzing is warm so that's how I, I, I differentiate it so I use that to contour um, I shaped her nose just a little bit um, and then her forehead so wherever she if she had a big forehead then I was able to kind of reduce that by throwing in shadow mm -hmm. on the perimeter of mm -hmm. her uh, of her forehead and then jawline as well sometimes you have some clients that they, they they want to enhance the jaw right so I would go and put contour over there great. but for her um, I didn't need to do that she great. she had a beautiful jaw so that is great certain... yeah that's a great explanation of, of you know before and after and how you uh, applied the application not just the application of the makeup but um, the features that you were enhancing on, on the lady as well so let's move on to the next one because I know the viewers are excited and anxious and, and, and really excited about um, looking at the second sample that uh, we're going to present to them so ladies and gentlemen here is the second picture 
Again, I'd like for you guys to notice the before and after and the beautiful glow uh, the model has and of course her, the way her hair is done. Again, I really like the emphasis on her eyes and um, even with the lips, it's very soft. It's not it's not bold. It's not going out to party. Yeah. It's, it's you know, I will be in the office. I want to enhance um, and show my femininism, but at the same time not um, you know, be too too aggressive. So help us understand um, what techniques you used here. Okay. Better, so for for her, I want to explain since I covered the base with the other client, I want to go in over her eyes and eyebrows and okay. lips here. So I try to um, give her more of a natural glow. Um, so what I did is I I noticed her eyebrows were over tweaked. And ladies, do not over tweak your eyebrows. <laughs> Don't we all do that at yes, times? Yes, we do. But uh, it, it's harder because the older you get, the less hair grows on your yes. face. So yes. you don't want to over pluck and over, yeah. So keep it natural, as natural as you can. Um, anyway, so with her eyebrows, I basically shaped it to suit her face. And I find eyebrows to be like a frame in a picture. If you had Mona Lisa, for example, without the frame, you wouldn't really see Mona Lisa as a beautiful picture, right? A right. frame always puts things into perspective and right. anchors the look. So I gave her uh, eyebrows that would anchor her look. Great, great And uh, her eyes, uh, she had a little bit of a hooded eyes shape. So I normally, what I like to do for that specific eye shape is to do their, is to put eye makeup on with their eyes open. Because if you have hooded eyebrow, eyelids, uh, when you look down, it's a different look to when you look up because you're not exactly, you know, you, you, don't, you, do, you do not walk around with your eyes down. You look straight at people, right? right? So in order for me to see what an eye makeup would look like on her face when she has her eyes open versus with her eyes closed, because she has hooded eyes, I ask her to do her to open her eyes so I op so I asked her to do open her eyes and then I was able to create a more open eye look for her by doing that so I instead of going in like say when you have a hooded eye and you're looking down your crease would be much lower but when you have your eyes open you kind of see where that crease is so okay. I that's a tip I can give to people that have hooded eyes um, and then with her lips, I just kept it very natural. I didn't overline her lips at all. I gave her a nice, beautiful gloss, keeping it neutral. And then I emphasized the glow on her face. So I added highlighter to where it was the highest points of her face and nose Great. and chin, just where the light hits her face. And then I gave her a beautiful bronzy look by adding some bronzer. And Great. Those are some... Excellent, excellent tips. Again, I certainly would have never thought about uh, some of the things that you just mentioned. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so we're going to actually go to our third slide and see who we have here and see how our audience can uh, relate to the third picture. Again, I would say this is definitely one of my favorite pictures for several reasons, as you can see the before and after. And of course, this is more for um, our audience that is that have a little bit more mature uh, skin. Um, and just they are, again, trying to figure out what is the best way for them to, um, you know, present themselves out there. And here, I not only just like the makeup, but also hair is done really, really well. The skin tone is is, is perfect um, once the makeup is, is completed. So help us understand, Vita, what is is the technique um, that you used here with your model um, in completing um, her look? Well, um, okay, so with that specific client, I, as you know, as you know, she, she is older, so she had um, a lot of, a lot of wrinkles on her face and um, some texture on her face. So I tried to use a good primer for her as well to um, fill in the wrinkles and the pores and give her hydration because and you know if you use a uh, foundation if you use too much makeup on uh, a person that with an older skin then it shows it really shows so I use what I call the buffing technique on this specific model uh, because it fills in the gaps now the buffing technique is very easy it's really taking a flat kabuki brush uh, which is a foundation brush and you you know how you have like um, 
buff. Basically, means, you're just like you're buffering the floor. You, and clean the you're floor. buffing, you're yeah, exactly. Or buff waxing, like some, or you're, you're washing dishes. Let's say you're washing dishes, right. right? You have a brush. So basically, you're doing the same kind of gesture as you would on a plate on your face. And so Great that technique. really helps to Great technique. cover the, you know, it fills in all the wrinkles and all of that stuff. And also con concealer around the eyes, you need to have it hydrating. Whatever product that you're using for that specific age, it's got to be hydrating. It's got to have a lot of, um, a lot of, of moisture as you know, so you, because you don't want it to end up looking cakey, you know? Right. And so, and I used very little powder on her as well. Great. Just because I wanted her face to, to really make glow. And again, those are some amazing, amazing, great techniques. And again, today, Vita, I want to thank you so much for coming out here and talking to the viewers and helping really, um, us understand and really bringing everything to a full circle when it comes and we talk about corporate America, you touched again on some great, great, um, points and you gave us some great tips you talked about um, you know enhancements you talked about making sure ensuring that the makeup the corporate makeup um, you know not for it not to be too cakey it's not like we're going to a party it's really understanding what our features what our facial uh, features are and what what it is that we want to enhance so mm -hmm. and less um, is always more <laughs> Less exactly. Is Less yes. is always more. Keep it simple. Keep it sweet. And just, you know, again, wear that beautiful smile, ladies, um, that you have because that definitely shows your confidence. And that's certainly part um, of, the, of the makeup, the corporate makeup um, as well. You know, being confident, you know, owning what you have and owning what you have on and you will definitely be a superstar so um one of the the signatures that we have um in our show beta is we ask a personal question to all our guests so the question for you today is what is your favorite color and what is your favorite ice cream flavor my favorite color and ice cream flavor yes okay. i'll start with the ice cream flavor yes i love vanilla I know I'm boring, but <laughs> I just love it a lot. I just think it's like the purest flavor in ice cream. And you can never go wrong with vanilla, right? That's absolutely true. And you know what? You can take the vanilla ice cream and you can add strawberries to it. You can add exactly. uh, blueberries to it. It's, it's a great base and you can add and, and take things off it as, as you wish. Mm -hmm. what my about, favorite color is yeah, so color. hard for me to pick one. It just depends on my mood, honestly. But I always like to keep a peaceful mind at all times. And so I guess for for that I love turquoise. I love I love my favorite color. Honestly, I think it's the yes. most soothing color that's out there in in the spectrum. Absolutely. And again, um, turquoise, and from my experience, is one of those colors, regardless to what outfit, what colors it is that you're wearing, clothing you're wearing, it always using the turquoise and blending it in with your makeup really um, sets you apart and makeup apart from some of your other coworkers yeah. that you may have and really highlights. Um, it gives that pizzazz that we're looking yeah. for. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen um, and our audience, I hope and I wish that you really liked our segment um, here at uh, Pink and Bolt. And I would like to take the opportunity in thanking my TV in allowing us to um, host this event. And thank you. Thank uh, you Beta very as much, well. Golden Girl, and thank you, my TV, for having me.